Just going to talk about gasoline. It is four sixty nine a gallon here in Texas, or where I live at Joshua. That is the most I've ever paid for gasoline in this old man's life. The last time it was real high, it was like three eighty nine. I bought gas one time for my truck and my work car at that price. After that, the price started going down. It was on a nickel at a time, a dime at a time, and it just kept going down and down and down. Till 16, 17 months ago, I paid a dollar nine a gallon for gasoline. And everything was great. We were producing so much gasoline in this country, we were exporting it. Uh, they were going to have that Keystone Pipeline come down from Canada, and we were going to refine the gasoline down in the Houston and Galveston area. Corporate states would have huge refineries because that's where that pipeline was going to come down, connect in, and feed all these, and some up in Oklahoma and other states. But they've shut that down again which is, this, I don't understand, Canada's pissed at us, or some people in Canada, because they're having to move that oil all the way to their east coast, put it on ships and bring it around through the Panama Canal and then back up into the Gulf of Mexico to the same refinery to process it, as had the cost of gas and oil tremendously. Um, we have an administration that is trying to destroy this country, this economy. I'm old, I don't see it yet. I'm living in a house that I've paid for. Uh, I have enough money to live on. I can't do a lot, but I can live on it. But these young people, you out there, are having to fight to stay ahead. I don't, it's killing me that you're having go through this. This house I live in, it was $60,000 when I bought it, and I was shocked then. My daughter is buying a house that is a half a million dollars. Now, it's a lot, it's a little bigger and a lot nicer, but a half a million dollars for a home, how do you pay for it? My other daughter has a house, and we paid 150 for it. It's worth 300000 today. Uh, but if she sold it, she couldn't afford to buy a $300,000 house because if she could find one, that's what it would cost her. And all of this is because of the restrictions, the things that they have changed after the pandemic has just added to the pain and suffering that we all went through during the pandemic. They're just putting more gasoline on the fire, making it worse. This is terrible. We're going to have a recession, I guarantee you, that's going to be very bad. I've been through, that's going to make the uh, um, one on Jimmy Carter looks like a walk in a park. Uh, we had 19% interest on car loans, used car loans, and we were paying 15 to 13, 13 to 15 on home loans for homes. I think that's going to happen again because to stop all of this garbage that they've done and taking more money, borrowing more money to make something is not good, and I'm afraid they're going to keep spending money like it's water over the next two and a half years, which is going to be heart on everybody. Um, I know I feel sorry for truck drivers because when I was trucking, I, I would fill up a gas tank and it was like three sixty nine four dollars a gallon, but I wasn't paying for it. It was being paid by the company. But like I say, the price started back down, didn't stay up high for very long. Right now, it's going up and up and up, and it's not going to come down. There's not a thing that that clown in Washington, D.C. will do to fix it. There's things he could do, and it might take 
six months to a year to reverse all this. A lot of it would be reversed overnight because if he said, okay, we're going to open Keystone Pipeline, I'm going to open up all federal line for drilling, I'm going to take all these restrictions off of drilling, I'm going to open up the other three pipelines that I shut down up northeast, that would cause the price of gasoline to immediately start going down. If you don't know, in the stock market, every day, all day, they're bidding oil, gas contracts are being bid, and they bid them by what they think the price is going to be the next day or the next month or next year. So they start bidding on these things, and it just causes the price go up. Now, oil companies can't do this. They can only put their oil out there and sell it. They're not allowed to bid these contracts. They just can't do it. They did that years and years ago to protect the consumer from overpricing. I think it's when Rockefeller or whoever it was had all the Exxon businesses, or, uh, they put a stop to that happening. But it goes up. Sure, oil companies make more money. You bid up the barrel of oil, they go up and make more money. They're not doing it because they want to. They Anybody make money, you somebody's going to give you money, you're going to take it. They can't go say, well, I'm not going to pay that $120 barrel. I'm going to wait till it's down to 35 Well, they eventually would have no oil to process, and they would go out of business. But just remember how this mule got started, and it ain't looking good. I'm expecting here in Texas, where we have a lot of oil, that I expect the price of gasoline at the pump may hit $10. If that does, and when it hits it, and there are some states that are going to hit 10 real quick, but we're going to be at 5 by the end of this month, maybe next month, and then it will just go up 20, 30 percent or say, say 20 or 30 cents per month, 30 percent, and it's going to keep going up. We're going to have to pay for it. It's a trickle down for us, but the price of gasoline is going to be unbelievable, and it's people haven't realized it, but your credit cards are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger because you keep buying gas, and eventually your credit cards will go belly up because you can't afford them no more. So anyway. I like to be happy, but right now I can't think of anything to make things better. But anyway, I love all of you. I appreciate you watching. So have a wonderful day, and God bless you very much. Bye. Say bye.